Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Vuforia, a plugin for Unity. Uh, Vuforia is an active third-party plugin that uh, basically enables you to develop augmented reality applications for tablets, Microsoft HoloLens, and see-through displays such as, say, the Epson BT200. Uh, you can also engage smartphones, Google Cardboard, um, all sorts of different uh, interactive computing devices that uh, consumers use as well as uh, researchers. So this topic today is going to be a quick rundown on how you create basic uh, augmented reality applications using Vuforia and Unity. And uh, let's get started. What you really need to do is make sure you have Unity installed on your machine, um, something like Unity 5.2.4 or above. Uh, I'm using 5.4.0. And then you're going to have to go to the uh, Vuforia developer website, which you just go to developer.vuforia.com okay so once you're there you're gonna have to make an account if you don't already have an account and uh, basically you're gonna go to downloads to get the unity plugin that's gonna go into Unity. and this thing is like a, a compressed zip file or tar file but they call them dot unity packages so download for unity you'll have to accept the terms and then there it is right there and then going back here to my desktop, I'm going to, with the Unity uh, interface open, I'm going to uh, create a new project right here on my desktop. So we're going to just call this Vuforia Basics. Okay, yep, right on my desktop, save, create project. Okay, so there's the folder right, right there and here comes unity right here okay so inside this project you're just going to have the assets folder and nothing else and a blank scene um, just to uh, get things started what I'm gonna do is save this scene uh, right here under assets I'm gonna make a folder called scenes and inside of that I'm gonna call this one uh, zero one because you know maybe we'll have a zero two three four five whatever and we can rename them later save that and uh, now with, once we have the scene built we got to get the Vuforia plugin in so we just downloaded that here uh, what I'm going to actually do is open this folder for the the project so that's here and in uni any unity project you might already know this so sorry if I'm repeating this uh, you're going to basically have an assets folder and anything in your your uh, project that's accessible inside the Unity editor, editor is going to be in Assets. And inside of here is where we would put Assets, but we're going to import this plugin. So above Assets is where we need to place this. Uh, I'm just going to drag it from Chrome right into that spot. And there it is right there. So I'm using uh, Vuforia 6117. And uh, of course, there are going to be other versions. I heard there's actually native support in Unity coming for Vuforia. So this tutorial might be uh, outdated if it is past, I believe, June 2017. So we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, right click on your Assets folder, or I guess go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and then navigate again back up above your Assets folder in the Vuforia Basics, and then just say Open. It's going to decompress that uh, document and show you a list of what you're importing. Really all you have to know here at this point is you know twirl the main branches closed and you'll see that you'll get you know some text files XML and then you have two folders and that's where everything's located the plugins folder and the Vuforia folder so if you ever have to delete Vuforia out of your project to put a new version in or something or, or maybe just delete the whole functionality in general you just have to delete the Vuforia folder and the plugins folder and then you should you should be good to go. These other things you can leave in there that won't they shouldn't uh, cause any issue. So import. So this is literally just uh, unzipping this stuff and putting it into the assets folder itself. We can see that here in the folder. Go to assets. There it is. It's all there. Unity of course makes these dot meta files, and that's an internal filter for Unity so don't let those trip you up okay so what we're gonna do here is use my webcam here in my office to uh, to augment a picture with a cube okay 
So I'm going to quickly go through this so that you can follow along by pausing the video and you know finding your place. Anyway, uh, first thing we got to do is delete the main camera from the scene. This is here by default in a 3D scene, so delete that. So we're going to need an AR camera instead of a standard Unity camera. We can find the AR camera under Vuforia, Prefabs, AR camera. Drag that into your scene. Okay, this AR camera can be placed anywhere you'd like. The next thing we got to do is license our copy of Vuforia here. And since we're doing a starter project or a free project, something we're going to do for academics uh, or research, we can just use a license for free. So we're going to have to go back to the website. And when you log in here, what you're going to have to do is go to pricing. And we're going to say development. My app is in development get license key okay and just keep this in development you name it so we're gonna call this uh, Vuforia basics okay and it's for a mobile device like a tablet or a smartphone digital eyewear will be uh, something I'll cover later in another tutorial so uh, next and then what this is gonna do is ask you to confirm based on their developer agreement which you can read that's important to know because there are things like a watermark on your app that you're gonna have to deal with um, most people in research don't care about that it's a tiny little watermark in the bottom right hand corner so now say confirm and then I have a list of others here but yours if you're doing this for the first time should just have one Vuforia basics so click on it and you'll get this weird uh, basically encryption key right here okay so you want to copy or highlight that whole thing copy paste or copy it and then paste it here in your AR camera in the inspector right where here where it says app license key okay I'm just gonna paste it in there press enter and then the next thing I gotta do is just make sure my camera is working so I have a webcam attached to my computer so I'm gonna hit play here in unity you see me right here okay now what I'm gonna do is import a photo into this project and we're going to create a uh, tracked target. All right, so now I've got a photo that I want to put into the uh, the app as a target. And uh, here, let me hit play here so you can see it. So I've got a picture laminated here that's uh, like a kind of an engineering drawing. All right, and we're going to augment this with a cube. So I've got it here as a JPEG, which is great because you can actually uh, do something like if you don't want to print it out. Uh, when you get this working, you can just hit play and uh, sort of point your screen at it, or point, sorry, point your webcam at the screen. So you could use like your screen as the the target. That way, you don't have to have paper printed targets everywhere. Okay, so let's get this target set up in uh, Vuforia as something we can use. So go back to the developer website and go to Target Manager. Um, if you lost the website and you can't find Target Manager, it's under Develop, Target Manager, once you get to the developer website. And then we're going to add a database. Again, I'm calling this Vuforia Basics. Okay. And we're going to be put the, putting this on a device. These other types I'm not going to cover in any other tutorials. You can read about those on the Vuforia website. They're more for businesses. So, create. All right, so Vuforia Basics here should be empty once you open it, and we're going to add a target. Okay, so it's going to be a single image target, and we'll go to my desktop. There it is. There. Okay, and then here the width. You can make it arbitrary unless you have a real world scale you're trying to match. Um, typically, I just put uh, ten in here. And it's going to be in like unity units, which is meters. So that'll be 10 meters. So that's pretty big. So you, if you want a real world unit scale, you want to convert from meters to, to what you're going to put in there. It, they have a description here to explain it a little bit deeper. Uh, yeah, that works. Hit add. Oh, uh, it doesn't want spaces. So I'm just going to take the space out of the name here. Add. All right, so it's processing the target. Literally, you wait like two seconds. Hit refresh on the page. Oh, wait. Actually, instead of refresh, I'm just going to go 
target manager find it again okay it's done it's going to give you a rating here this is important to know how how much edge detection um, is on your image so I click to open it and you can see the edge detection features when you click show features right here all these little dots here are what the uh, tablet will be looking for or smartphone when it's looking through its camera so that's kind of nice lighting will affect this so if you have dark lighting or bright bright lighting it's gonna have a hard time alright going back to target manager Vuforia basics let's pull this out of here and put it into unity so I'm gonna check that hit download database and we're gonna specify that we want it for the unity editor this SDK is basically native code if you're writing this in pure uh, Java in Android Studio for uh, Android or if you're writing in Xcode with uh, pure Objective-C for iOS which um, this is more for the native code developers that want to keep their projects like super controlled tightly uh, Unity is going to be the easiest for learning though and, and also for full-fledged full production so anyway download that alright so that's here I'm actually just going to drag this again into our folder. Let me bring that back up. So again, up above the assets, right next to where we put the Vuforia plugin, I'm going to put in this uh, targets. This is nice because then when you, if you're collaborating with somebody, you can take this folder and just uh, like seven zip it up or compress it, um, send to a compressed folder, and you can just share that as one object that uh, you can send over email or box or Dropbox or whatever. All right, I digress. Going back into Unity, we're going to import our uh, image target marker. So we're going to go to Assets, right click, and say Import Package, Custom Package, and Vuforia Basics.Unity Package. Open that up. Again, twirling closed the, uh, the parent branches. You have just an editor folder coming in and a streaming assets folder coming in. So if you ever had to delete those, that's the two folders you want to uh, go into and delete the assets inside. Or delete the whole folder, depending on what you want to do. Import. So those are in there now. Okay, so now we need an image target in our 3D scene out here that we're going to augment with something. Okay, so first thing you have to do is get another prefab out of the Vuforia folder. So I'm going to Vuforia, Prefabs, and I'm choosing the image target object. I'm just putting it into the hierarchy instead of out here. Because if you put it out here, it'll put it into an arbitrary place. I kind of want to start everything at zero, zero, zero. So I put it there. It's right at the origin. And right now it's just a big plane. There's nothing to it. White. All right. So since this is a prefabricated image target, it's already got all our scripts we need associated with it and we're going to change the image target behavior script right here so where it says database and image target it says empty on both since we already imported our target it should show up and then since we only have one image target in the the array it will show up right there if you had multiple it would have multiple and you could choose and then of course you're welcome to rename this so I'm going to call this uh, uh, diagram whatever you can name it whatever to keep yourself organized that's important when you get lots and lots of these so if you double click it you'll see that it's quite a bit bigger now because remember my 10 meter scale uh, you can see the 10 meters here with these with the grid here one two three and all the way to ten now anything you make that's a child of diagram will be augmented okay so I'm gonna just go ahead and create a 3d object by going to game object 3d object cube and that placed a cube right on top of it however it's not a, sh a child of it right so if I hit play it's just gonna be sitting in front of the, in front of the camera somewhere so I'm underneath it uh, what we needed to do is actually attach to this target so that we can move it around and it's attached to reality so to speak so by doing this you drag cube on top of diagram it becomes a child of diagram and uh, I'm going to save the project, hit play, and honestly, it won't work right away. So you see, nothing happens. Oh, and why? Why didn't it happen? Well, this is a catch-22 with Vuforia, and they're going to solve this, I think, in their next version, or maybe I'm totally wrong on this. But uh, if you go to AR Camera, and you look for the script called Database Load Behavior, 
you're going to check this box here that says load Vuforia basics database and whatever you named your database of targets is going to be in there and then you it'll pop up this other option called activate I guess it won't solve this because this isn't a problem you, this is just basically the the default behavior do you want it to load or do you want it to not load so we're going to say activate meaning just automatically pop it up let's again save now it should work okay so there's the cube easy peasy it's uh, just really whatever you want to do with it now so the design part comes into play because you have a workflow to augment objects so I can make the cube bigger or rotate it here so and then I'll make it bigger okay hit play again since it's a child there you go it's slightly rotated and it's bigger you can augment anything you'd like now that uh, you've got this 2D art, 3D art, um, database driven menu systems. And in fact, that's what my next tutorial is about. Um, I'm going to build a, a simple menu system out of a component I made, uh, a component structure I made called uh, the menu kit. And uh, yeah, so we'll get into that. Or I guess it's a menu state manager. Yeah, we'll get into that next. But uh, these are the basics that we just went through. Feel free to go back and rewind the video because I did go through it quickly. All right. If you have any questions, you can contact myself and my other uh, colleagues here at the Advanced Visualization Lab at Indiana University at vishelp at iu.edu. And uh, thank you for uh, watching this tutorial.